Okay, good morning, how are y'all? Today you're going to be looking at, um, and we're reading and interpreting distance time graphs and speed time graphs. Um, in the meantime, please uh, have your homework out on your desk. We will be grading that. And please, if you haven't completed it, you need to get it done. Also, please do your warm up first. Do your warm up first, please. Do your warm up. If you haven't done so, do your warm up. speed, velocity, or acceleration. There will also be two speed problems on your quiz tomorrow. So the homework that you did, you'll need to be able to calculate speed for two problems. Okay, number one, the Earth's North American plate, Big Tris, moves northwestward at 2.5 centimeters per year. Speed, velocity, or acceleration? Velocity. Why? Very good. This one is velocity because it gives you northwestward. That is a direction. Farah, a bullet flies through the air at 850 meters per second. That would be speed. 
850 meters per second is speed. There's no direction given. Okay? Bren, our car travels around a curve with a constant speed of 10 miles per hour. That is acceleration Y. No, 10 miles per hour would be speed. Constant speed is miles per hour, that's, a, that's speed. That's not why it's acceleration. That's it. Everybody underline around a curve. Something is going around a curve, it's changing direction, and that would be acceleration. Number four, <coughs> racing. Uh, racing. Uh, the bicyclist applied his brakes before hitting the curve. Acceleration. That is acceleration. If you apply your brakes, you're going to be doing what? Slowing down. slowing down. Any kind of slowing down is acceleration. It's negative acceleration. Number five, Sterling. A dog chases a rabbit around and around until he catches it. Uh, Why? Uh, That's not the reason why, no. Um, Bryn. Around and around. That's changing directions. Sounds like they're running in circles or something. And that's a loops, and that's a change in direction. Constant change in direction. Number six, little Chris, a truck heads west on I-10 at 60 miles per hour. That is velocity. Why, Chris? It's west. Very good. West tells you it's velocity. Okay, number seven, and Daniel, a runner starts the race when the starting gun sounds. Why? That's the word, starts. Remember, starting, stopping, speeding up, slowing down are all acceleration. Starts. Number eight, uh, Gerardo, the cheetah is said to be able to run at 70 miles per hour. That is speed. 70 miles per hour is speed. Okay? Everybody understand? The one thing that you really need to study in that foldable from yesterday, 100 meter dash, is acceleration. You need to make sure you understand that starting, stopping, speeding up, slowing down, or changing direction are all what? Acceleration. acceleration. Okay? If it has a direction, it's? Uh, velocity. Okay, very good. Well, that's your quiz tomorrow. Go ahead and put that in your warm-up folder. And again, your quiz is going to look very similar to this. So study this. Okay? On your homework, I'm going to give you five minutes to finish it. When this runs out, we're going to grade. So get as much done as you can. If you get stuck on something, raise your hand, and I'll be happy to walk around and help you. Five minutes, and then we have to move on. I handed them out that were on the tables. No, because we have other things to do. I'm going to go in the class. Uh, I don't know. You may go, and I will check. And if you don't, I'll give you a tardy. You weren't. Four and six were the same problem. Okay, what I want you to do is if you're finished, you go through and circle your answers, please. Circle your final answer. Circle your final answer. Circle your answers. Okay, why didn't you do it? Circle your final answer, please. Lane, where's your homework? I
500 kilometers. Is that speed, distance, or time? Here, let everybody look at the screen, please. If the answer is wrong, I want you to put an X over the number. Everybody look at the screen. Everybody see this number? If number one's wrong, you put an X right there. Don't make any other marks. The ones that they get wrong, I'm going to look at to see if they got any part of it right, and then you might get some credit. Tomorrow, you're going to get this back, and you may have a sheet stapled to it, and that means you have to do it again. So. Make sure, hopefully you've gotten at least a 70, because if you didn't, you're going to do it again. Okay. You had to get seven. And I did two of them with you. So you, you got two of them right, hopefully. Yeah. Dylan, Terry, and Dahlia, please step out in the hall. Knock on the door in five minutes, and then you can probably come back in. Somebody will watch. Not somebody remind me five minutes. Okay, here we go. Number one actually had two answers. Um, I, when I did it, I only gave you one. So as long as they have one of these, count it right. Okay, the speed was two. And if they didn't do this, even though I did it with y'all, then it's wrong. 250 kilometers per hour. Don't put anything if it's right. 
day and over hours. If the if the unit is wrong, don't count it wrong. If they have 250 there, count it right. Yes. Freddie can't see it. He can't read it. And he's getting my paper. Can you see it now? Okay. No, it's just too late. We were here. They weren't here. They were absent. Okay, number two should be 90. See if they have 90 circled. Number three. 87.5 and they had to have east there if east isn't there it's wrong now this miles per hour doesn't have to be right but east has to be there because this was asking for velocity okay number four was five number five 43.8 and 8 was repeating. Uh -huh. I wasn't going to do two of the problems for you and you only had two to do. That would kind of be kind of silly. What's that? They don't have to have the line above the 8. As long as they have 43.8, or they could have rounded it to 43.9, is okay. Remember, in this class, you only have to go to one decimal. Okay? One decimal is fine in this class. You didn't have to, no. Uh, number five, six was five seconds. It was the same problem as the other one. Number seven, 12.5. Number eight, 1,768. Listen, at home, you could have used a calculator. Y'all wouldn't have waited to the last minute here. Number nine was 64. But this was velocity, so they had to have said south. They didn't put south, it's wrong. They're looking for velocity. Um, I, I did say it was front and back. I said there was 10 problems. Okay, you have to, have to listen better. Okay, 10 was 133.3. 133.3. All I want you to do is put the number wrong somewhere at the top. In colored pencil and then circle the number wrong. It's okay. If they have 133.3, count it right. Okay, hand that back and then take it to the box, please. No, no grading. I'm going to grade it. I just want to look at them. Grab a pair of scissors and trim this note sheet. Glue it down to the next page in your journal. It'll be 31, I think. Tell the kids outside to come on in. Uh oh, what's going on? Is that Michelle? I think so. Probably Armando. No, Armando's not. No, Okay, there is a note sheet laying on everybody's desk. Please trim it. Put the uh, trash paper on the corner of your desk. I'll come around with a can and pick it up. And then glue that down. I think it's page 31 in your journal. Today we're going to be looking at graphing motion. We're going to be graphing motion. Graphing motion. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Page 30, okay. Did you lose? No. You didn't lose the income from yesterday. No, it was 100 meter dash. Go right here. 100 meter dash. That thing right there. With all the notes about speed, velocity, and acceleration. Okay, everybody look up here. What does this say? It's not going. Only. Please. White paper here only. I saw you throwing something in there. Was it white paper only? That's not white paper. Don't throw tissues in there anymore. Oh, no, but the paper goes and they make new paper out of it so that we can use it Hey, please glue that down to page 31. Today we're going to be looking at graphing motion. Okay, there will be graphs on the screen. Excuse me, girls. Thank you. There will be graphs on the screen that will correspond to a graph in your notes. We will describe the motion of that object in that graph, and you will report it into the notes. So everybody look at the screen, please. This is object A. These first four graphs are something called distance time graphs. And the right way you can tell that it's a distance time graph is because of the y-axis. Does everybody remember that this is the y-axis for math? And this is the x-axis. In a distance time graph, distance is on the y-axis. And time is on the x. Does everybody understand? Take your pencil and circle distance and circle time. Or you can grab a highlighter and highlight them. Okay? So, the first four in that column are called distance time graphs. Now, in this distance, what would the time be here? Zero, zero. zero, zero. So, the distance is zero and the time is zero. So, this is where the object, what? Starts. So, that would be like me standing here. This is the origin or the starting point for the object. Okay? As time goes by, what is the object doing? Well, no, it's not. It's traveling. You can't say it's speeding up. It's traveling. Okay? It's moving. That's all you can tell from this graph. The other thing you can tell from this graph is that the object is moving at a constant speed. Please report that in the little box below it. The graph shows that an object has a constant speed. So when the line is straight, and if you want to label that line as straight, you know, you could write the word straight right here. When the line is perfectly straight, it's moving at a constant speed. Constant speed. Okay? Now, I'm going to add some stuff over here to this board. Okay, here's the same graph. This is distance, and this is time. Constant speed. This is object A, B, C. Are they all moving at a constant speed? They are, because all the lines are what? Straight. Okay. But A, B, or C, which object is moving the fastest? The fastest. Everybody look up here. You can tell. It is C. Because let's say this was 0, 1 second, 2 seconds. In 2 seconds, it went the furthest distance. Does everybody get it? Okay. You don't have to write this on yours, no. Just pay attention. Okay. You have to write the A thing right below the graph, but 
the graph shows the object has a constant speed. The reason why C is the fastest is because it travels a greater distance. After what two seconds, this object only went that far in distance. Does everybody understand that? Okay, let's take a look at the second one, B. Again, this time, this now is called a reference point. That would be like that door over there. And the object is some distance away from the origin or reference point. That would like me being that far from the door. But this object is still traveling at some speed. But the object is going in which direction? You can't think about it as down. It's going back to the origin. And that door is the origin. So this is graphing me walking toward that door. It's not necessarily going down. You can't say that. It's just going back to some starting point. This object could have walked this way and been here and then walking back. Now, that line is straight. So this object is also traveling at a constant speed. So right below that one, the graph shows an object with, it says not moving. It should say moving. I'm sorry. Let me change it real quick. Object B is already labeled there for you. Object B, the, the graph shows an object that's moving at a constant speed back to its starting point. Back to its starting point. You might have to write small if it is in that box below that graph. Object B. Why is it a constant speed? How do you, it's a straight line. It's a constant speed because it's a straight line. So anytime on a distance time graph, if you see a straight line, what is the object doing? It's a constant speed. It's moving at a constant speed. It's one of the things you need to know. Can everybody remember that? Straight line? Everybody? Constant speed. Very good. It's a straight line. It's moving at a constant speed. Okay. Everybody have that? Let's take a look at C. What does C look like on your sheet? Constant speed. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's a trick question. It is a trick question. I'm an idiot. It's just straight. It is a straight line, but is it sloped? No. There's no slope here. So it's not moving. Okay. You are exactly right. Does the distance ever change? No. So the object is? No constant speed. Well, it's, the object's not going anywhere. So the object would be? Still. At rest. It's not moving. So if you see a horizontal line on a distance time graph, the object is not moving. That's because over time, as time is going by, the object stays at the same distance. It never moves. So the distance does not change there. The graph shows an object that is at rest. It's not moving. Okay, look at the final graph. Describe the line. Curved. What do you think this might show? What's that? This is acceleration. When the line is curved, that means the speed is doing what? Changing. So on a curved line, the object is accelerating. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be curved that way. It actually could be curved this way as well. Okay. Now, because of the way this one is curved, is the object slowing down or speeding up? Speeding. Okay. It's accelerating, but is it speeding up or slowing down? Slowing down. Yes, this is slowing down. It's going fast here and slow here. Now, if the line was the other way, it would be doing what? 
speeding up. This line over here shows an object speeding up. Okay, this is speeding up. Ob all you would need to write there is object is accelerating. Take note smartly. Okay, now let's do some examples here. What's happening? Object A. Object A, Dalton, what is the object doing? This line right here. Look in your notes. Huh? Is the line curved? Yes. No. Object A, line A is curved. At a, look at your notes please. When the line is straight, it's a, This is a constant speed. A, the object is moving at a constant speed. Okay? Vera, B, what's the object doing? No, ma'am. Look at your notes. We just wrote these down in your notes, people. It's at rest. Very good. Or you can come back in a minute. Okay. A B, when it's a horizontal line, the object is at rest. So it was moving at a constant speed. Maybe he got tired and took a break. So he took a break. And C, what is he doing? Going down, like he's going down. He's going back. None of that stuff, people. Come on. Oh, he's this going is back so to the easy. Point. Okay. It, first of all, you ask yourself, is the line curved? If it's curved, then he's accelerating. Is that line curved? No. No. So it's a constant speed. Now, what's the difference between A and C? One going a is going down. This one, you can't say going up. This one is moving away from the origin. And this one is moving toward, toward the origin. So this is the trip for this person or whatever it is. So here I am. This square right here is the origin. I walk away from it at a constant speed. I get tired and I take a break. And then I walk back to the origin, but I'm going at a constant speed. Am I faster or slower than A? Slower. I'm moving slower than at A. The steeper the slope, the faster the object is moving. And this slope is steeper than this one. So the object was moving fast, got tired, took a break, and then walked back to the origin. Everybody understand? We'll be practicing this a lot, and you'll get the hang of reading these graphs like this. Here, this is what we'll be doing tomorrow, analyzing graphs. You just need the notes for it today. Okay, B again is at rest. And C, the object is moving with constant speed back toward the origin. Okay, now, forget everything you just learned on that, because these graphs are completely different. And you have to be able to tell the difference between distance time and speed time. Now look at this graph. Instead of it saying distance over here, what does it say now? Speed. speed. Okay. This is now speed. And these are the graphs to the right of your table. Okay. This is no longer constant speed, because is the speed constant? The speed is doing what here? Increasing. And when speed increases, what's that called? This is now acceleration. A straight line on a speed time graph is acceleration. So object E is acceleration. And it's a positive acceleration. He is speeding up. He is speeding up because the speed is going up. Remember, this would be speed of zero, and this could be 50 miles per hour. We don't know. There's no numbers here. But the speed is your speed, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's going up. Okay. The next one, look at it. What do you think it is? It is negative acceleration. That's exactly right. Here, the object is slowing down. The speed is decreasing. It's going from a high speed up here back towards zero speed. So the object is slowing down. Okay, the object is slowing down. The only difference here is this word right here. 
that speed and distance make these graphs completely different. Object F, negative acceleration, which means it's slowing down. G, look at the speed here. Does the speed change? No. Yes. No. Oh. No. It's not acceleration. It's a, it's a constant speed. It's a constant speed. Right here, let's say this was 10. Is it always 10? Yes. Yes. That's a constant speed. So on this graph, object G is a constant speed. Constant speed. H, now you may have to take a colored pencil or something so you can highlight this line. This line is actually right on speed of zero. So if the speed is zero, what's the object doing? It's at rest. On this graph, at rest is when the line is on the zero. So this is at rest. The object is not moving. It has zero speed. Zero speed. You're going to have to memorize those. You have to know those graphs. We'll be practicing them a lot. Is that going to be on the quiz? It won't be. It'll be on the quiz Friday. Okay? It'll be on the quiz Friday. Okay. Let's still practice what's happening to the object. From Zero to A. Remember, this is now, what does it say here? And this is the first speed. thing you should do. Is look, see if it says distance or speed. speed. It's speed. Yes. So from zero to A, what's the object doing? It's acceleration. Is it positive or negative? Positive. This A to zero to A is a positive acceleration. Very good. It's a positive acceleration. Okay? If you don't understand that again, listen. Speed is zero. The speed increases. Speed increases, speed increases. Increasing speed is acceleration. Now from A to B, it's a constant speed. It's a constant speed. Okay? From B to C, that is a negative acceleration. Remember, it's going back toward the zero speed. So it has some high speed, and it's going back to zero speed. So it's slowing down. Does it get to zero speed? Well, yes, it does, because this is zero. So this object actually came to a stop. It went to zero. Okay, it went to zero. Okay. Using those notes, we'll complete this activity. I'm going to help you get started. We're going to actually do the back first. Thank you. And I'm going to help you with the back. This is homework number two. It will be due when you come in tomorrow. Make sure you glue that down to the next page. Okay. okay. You actually have to graph on the back. So we're going to get you started on graphing. I'm going to do a couple of points with you and then you'll have to take over. Okay. Graphing practice. Graph Red Riding Hood's movements according to the following events listed in the order they occurred. Number nine, Little Red Riding Hood set out for Grandma's cottage and walked 2.45 miles on a four mile trip in 35 minutes. Okay, so we need 2.5 miles. So we're gonna start, there's 2.5 right there. How many minutes? So we go to 35, we go up till we get there and we put a point. So that is the first line. Okay, she started at home or wherever she started from, from zero to zero. Okay, so 2.5 miles in 35 minutes. Here's the 35 minutes. 
up to 2.5 knots. Everybody understand that? Okay? She stops for five minutes. If she stops, please notice this is a distance right here. What is the line going to look like if she stops? It's going to be straight. For how many minutes? For five. So we're going to meet the next point at? Well, for five minutes. It's at 35. So it's at 40. Like that. For five minutes. Okay, y'all are going to complete that and I'm going to walk around. Please use a pencil so if you mess up, you can erase. Did she go? 
She was at two and a half, and she went 1.5 more on people who need treatment to an added on your No, it's not three and a half. It's four. So you have to go up to the four and the 65 and put a point there. As she walked, she noticed some wildflowers. She stopped for five minutes. But she was at 65 and four, and she stopped. So did her distance change? No, so she's gonna, it's gonna go over five minutes and you're gonna put another point. Realizing she was late, Red Riding Hood ran the rest of the way to Grandma's Cottage in 15 minutes. So we were at 70, what's 70 plus 15? 85. How far away was Grandma's Cottage? Yeah, let me see, these numbers might not add up. So. Just make sure for your homework that if you don't do the gra get the graph done, get the front done and the two problems at the bottom. Just forget about the back. We're going to do it together tomorrow. You have to do the front. Thank you. Let me see if this is right. I think there's something wrong here. I should have checked it before I printed it. You'll be practicing graphing again. Okay, if you have sunglasses or a hat on, please come up. I got Sunglasses or a hat. Yep. And then drop it in there. You have one for Chris? No, Chris can come get his own. Yeah. I grabbed that one. No, you have to come do your own. Jace, you can grab your red note and go to the office. Anybody else have a cat with their name in the box for a surprise? For sunglasses. Anybody have sunglasses and a cat? Daniel, get off to the office, please.